event. So please put your hands together for Revati Naidu from Nagpur. She'll speak on the topic forensic audit versus financial audit. Please, please clap for Vini Chia. She's the last paper presenter. Please. Khargosh. Some word of man is getting rabbit. Khargosh. Or khargosh or something like. Guys, guys, observe this picture keenly. I've just zoomed this picture. And this is a masterpiece showing a picture of a brother and sister. This masterpiece reminds me of a very famous saying in Marathi. Jasa daste, tasa naste. Which means... Things aren't always what it seems and hence it is said. Auditors look at the numbers. Forensic auditors look behind the numbers. So friends, let's have a glimpse of world behind the numbers with my topic, Forensic Audit versus Financial Audit. Before moving on, let me know, how many CA final students here? Well, how many CA IPCC students? Well, audit to pada hoga na. So, financial audit is something very familiar to it. It is independent examination of financial statement of a company. Irrespective of size and legal perspective. With a view to express opinion on true and fair presentation. Now let's know, what is forensic audit? Let's go word by word. Forensic. Naam to sunai hoga na? Dr. Saloke. Yes, I'm sure whenever you come across the term forensic, the first thing that hits our mind is Dr. Saloke. Resorting to forensic science to gather evidences, thereby helping CIA to solve the cases. However, when I talk about the term... However, when I talk about the term forensic audit, it says one thread in common with the forensic pathology, that is, the pursuits of evidences that will stand in the rigorous scrutiny before the court of law. Forensic audit is basically amalgamation of accounting, auditing and investigative skills with a view to obtain results to withstand legal scrutiny and administrative proceedings against the person who has committed the fraud. Now the question comes, why this term forensic audit came into existence when there was already financial audit? To know, guys, let me tell you, KPMG, its latest fraud survey report states that only 6% of the fraud are detected through financial audit. That means 94% of the frauds remain undetected. The failure of major corporate governance mechanism to Detect and prevent fraud, as my friend Sahaj has al already illustrated the statistics of fraud in current scenario. And increasing sophisticated frauds have thrown serious threats to investors, government and public at large. More so, stakeholders of most of the companies are worried over financial statement being certified by financial auditor. And few weeks after such reports being certified, such reports are found to be in serious financial crisis, leading to bankruptcy and most times liquidation. An instance of such case can be drawn from the case of Enron. 
Enron used to be the seventh largest corporation in United States. At one point of time, it valued seventy billion dollars. As of 1997, however, Enron started losing money and accumulating debt. Enron executives, instead of correcting their mistakes, decided to hide the losses through accounting trust. A risky decision kept being made and truth was hidden under the rock. At 1001, however, media started wondering whether Enron was overvalued. This obviously put a lot of pressure on Enron's stock price, which used to be as high as 90.75 per dollar. Insiders decided to cash out and started selling lots of shares and prices kept falling until they ended up at low a dollar. In 2001 December, Enron ultimately filed for bankruptcy. In the above case, Enron has capitalized their expenses resulting to increased profit which was not in existence and yet audit report of Enron was unqualified by their auditor Arthur Andreessen ultimately resulting to bankruptcy. Besides Enron, many more cases such as Volcom, Sunbeam, Waste Management Internationally, Satyam, Kingfisher, Sahara, Nirav Modi, etc. domestically have come into light where financial auditor have refused to accept the responsibility of prevention and detection of fraud. This has created an expectation gap between the accounting profession and the users of financial statement. Thus, here comes the role of forensic auditor. The term forensic audit was hence introduced in order to bridge this gap. Now, it might wonder you why financial auditor fails to detect fraud. Guys, it is said, it's easy to miss out something you are not looking for. Similar situation happens with the financial auditor. They have to report on true and fair presentation. They are not required to focus on prevention and detection of fraud. Hence, audit procedures are not designed to prevent and detect frauds and to find out fraud symptoms or probability. And hence, with no specific coverage, financial auditor fails to detect fraud. Moving on to the provisions of Companies Act. Section 143.12 of the Act deals with reporting on fraud, which goes as, in the course of performing his duty as auditor, if he comes across any fraud committed on the company by officers or employer of the company, he shall report the matter to the central government or audit committee based on threshold limit. Friends, on observing this provisions keenly, you'll find the Act imposes duty on auditor to report only those frauds that which he, which he have come across in the course of performing his duty as auditor. That means he is not liable to detect fraud. Moreover, the section 143.12 imposes duty on auditor to report only those frauds that have been committed on the company by officers and employees of the company. Guys, what about the frauds committed by management? That is white collar crimes. It is a very famous saying that if a robber does robbery, the loss is as, as small as dollar five. However, if a person sitting at the top does so, the loss can be as big as dollar two billion. And hence, here comes the role of forensic auditor who by virtue of their attitude and aptitude, talent and ability, skills and exertees, knowledge and practical experience are bona fide specialists and expert in sensing and detecting frauds. On the basis of nature, frauds can be divided as financial statement fraud and asset theft fraud. Financial theft fraud, also known as reporting frauds, typically involves 
overstatement of assets and incomes and understatements of asset uh, of liabilities and expenses it is also known as cooking the book whereas asset theft fraud refers to use of one's one's occupation to obtain personal gains through misuse of organization's resources if financial statement of a company is not impaired by fraud uh, it's possible that financial auditor may not be able to detect fraud moreover asset theft fraud falls outside the scope of traditional financial statement audit and hence here comes the role of forensic auditor who are specialized in detecting and correcting both financial statement frauds as well as asset theft fraud now let's uh, move on to some of the key change, key differences between forensic auditor and financial auditor no doubt financial forensic auditor starts on the basis of financial audited statements and financial auditor's report but guys when i talk about forensic audit it's a different ball game altogether like different games have different rules for deciding the boundaries every time different audit procedures have to be applied in case of forensic audit now you will ask me why because each forensic audit assignment is unique in itself and requires different approach to find out the mystery behind and hence a standard approach cannot decipher the mystery on hand financial auditor is like a watchdog who barks when they see something suspicious whereas a forensic auditor is like a bloodhound who actually searches for something suspicious and hence it is said auditors find out deliberate misstatements only whereas forensic auditors find out misstatements deliberately financial auditor is like a patrol man whereas forensic auditor is like a detective patrol man is always present on the patrol whereas a detective is called only when something suspicious has been identified auditor relies on documentary evidences whereas forensic auditor actually examines the reliability of documentary evidence financial auditor rely, uh, re relies on management representation whereas when i'm conducting forensic audit independent examination of each and every item is carried out a well planned financial audit may uncover current frauds but focus is not on on uncovering potential frauds however guys when i am working as a forensic auditor it all, besides investigating fraud it also helps in developing controls in order to prevent potential frauds as it is well said prevention is better than cure uh the procedures in financial statement audit are designed to uncover material misstatements but guys when i'm working as a forensic auditor i have to focus also on immaterial transactions cause it may indicate it may give indication of fraud and hence when i'm when acting as a forensic auditor i have to say goodbye to sample checks and move on an approach of ample checks at the end of financial audit there is a, there is opinion whereas at the end of forensic audit there are findings and recommendations now let's see how auditors can become good investigators <laughs> professional skepticism is obviously the answer questioning mind that means he shall cross it being alert being alert to the situation or condition that may create possible misstatement due to frauds or error critical assessment critical assessment of audit evidence guys there's a question for you can you guess this name of movie any answer catch me if you can yes guys it's correct it's catch me if you can based on true story of frank abagnale 
who is known for his history as a former confidence tricker, check forger, imposter between the age of 15 and 21. He was one of the top fraudsters of that time. At so early age, he was sent to prison. But guys, believe me, on observing his ability, CBI admitted him as fraud consultant. Guys, what do you learn from this story? In order to become a good investigator, you have to think like a fraudster. The major difference between financial audit and forensic audit are that of goals and objectives. In case of financial audit, main objective is to assure compliance that the financial statements are based on proper rules, policies and principles, whereas in forensic audit, major focus is on crimes and anomalies and their prevention and detection as the main goal is to obtain evidences for the purpose of litigation. It's not possible that forensic audit replaces financial audit because both have their own elegance. But the approach of improvement in the methodology of conducting financial audit cannot be ignored. To conclude, Financial audit may be seen as evergreen actor like Amitabh Bachchan. However, forensic audit may be seen as a rising star like Varun Dhawan. Both have charm, but with the increased use of technology, future lies with forensic audit. Thank you. Thank you so much, Revati. That was a wonderful presentation by you.